Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We actually left off in the middle of a side mission where a bunch of bounty hunters are trying to kill this nice innocent man that I am trying to protect, or arguably innocent. I mean, I guess technically all he did was find a criminal he was supposed to find, but then it turns out the faction leader hired the criminal, and then he got a bounty put on him for his death. Okay, this, this rock sucks. Can I bring the fight to them? That'd be great. Ooh, are they gonna bring the fight to me? That's even better. Hey guys, how's it going? I know, whoa, you made me miss. I still have an issue shooting humanoids in this game sometimes. Ooh, yeah. Not bad. I to your left, but my novels thrive on adversity. Step up, boys! Well, that would have been sweet if I could have landed that, but I didn't. Or that. Accuracy. Oof. Let me try this again. Got him! Victory. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the uh, fire burning club. We do appreciate it. Uh, please make sure you put out all your smoke when you land. For being guys that like to show up with a bunch of fire gear, you're not very flame resistant. I'll tell you what. Another one. Stop, stop hitting them, making me miss. Again. The whole strategy. Whoa. Have a care, Nora. Glitched out of there. Rolls. Have a care, you mean don't just keep murdering people with fire? It's like this is so humane to do. And the thing, I'm the one uh, going for this Sun King that's the good guy with just all my murder, my fiery murder, torture, death. Pretty sure Napalm is against some rules nowadays. Here it comes. What? Here comes what? Come at me? What is what 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 was your intention there, chilling there, dude? I know you I can't hit you, you can't hit me, we both struggle. What's that? Is that laying down shooting? That's the last Stop of the marbles. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Okay. We're gonna, Will you come with me? Yeah, we're gonna climb up this ledge together too. Yep, you're going first again. Just blind faith. <laughs> I love how they have to do the walk-off animation. They can't just make one continuous animation or anything. This won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. Ooh, personal guard. It's not like two thundered maws or anything, is it? Like, I, I fought in giant robots of doom, death, and destruction. Are pretty damn intelligent themselves. And double behemoths, double corrupted behemoths. Man, you don't even know. You think this Across is going to be hard? There and we'll have him. Okay, good to know. I had to come here myself to end your His suffering. His robe looks Uthid very flammable. And mine. The Outlanders led us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Oh, do you think your heavy weapons would be enough? I like look like I don't know what's about to happen. I see you heavy. Into the fray. What? Why did that attack? Kill a traitor for just a kill a Nora. What? Where the heck did you come from, buddy? Oh shit! I've got the wrong pots. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Set you the on fire. Pathetic life, Uthid. Not a big fan of how you actually put yourself out. I mean, it's cool that they programmed that. Make it hurt. Don't let the shadow cause upon them. Oof, I actually died. I wasn't sure if I had to pick him up or what his deal was, but it looks like he automatically gets back up.
But I'm going to call that with a failure to introduce a game mechanic, so failure on tutorial rather than a failure on me. Oh well, man. Let's see if I can do this right. Set him on fire. Set him on fire. We reset you on fire because you're the like half flame resistant. Why are like you on fire? Well, he 1v1s that guy. We whiff that. Kill this. Come around here. Mr. Heavy Weapons guy again. Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! Girl, yep, yep, yep. You keep screaming your bullshit. Where you stay out of range because you know I would kill you so fast. Oh shit, he made me miss you. And you're running corrupted arrows. Hmm, that's problematic. We're gonna play you real safe. Make it hurt! Stay off the shadow falls upon them. Uh, jealousy or corruption. Can I loot you? No, nothing of note. Okay. Onto the ledge, you said? Where are we headed? Oh, we gotta do this again? Third time? Third animation? Repeat? Who the hell thought this was a good idea? <laughs> Walk off again, then turn around, wander back. Yep. <laughs> Terrible repeat sequence here. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavis. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. Ooh, we picked the wrong side, buddy. Never underestimate a hero. That was quite a fireworks show. She came all the way out you here. You took your time? I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shund, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <laughs> girl You've talk. had quite a day. I yeah. never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Okay. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. Why help them? Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. <laughs> That's what this is all about. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavis is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. I'm very excited about this. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Huadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. 
Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. Oh, Ooh, that animation swap point. there was rough. Okay. I'm gonna just go extract the, the king. I'm under shenanigans. Talk to three hode. Oh, that really the closest spot I got. Looks like it is. I can do that though. Probably should have stayed and listened to their dialogue between the two of them, but uh too late now. Um uh, yeah, we're just gonna run right over here. 212 meters. Probably run off a cliff, die a horrible death. Uh I need to resupply my throw all the shit I can at the wall. Get some to stick when fighting humanoids. I don't know why I have such a hard time hitting humanoids in this game. It's like Nope. Big old bag of fucking nope sticks. I don't know what they're fighting, but I want nothing to do with them. Nope. I said nope, you pieces of shit. Really? Fucking aggro onto me, even though I specifically said no. Uh, fine. If, you want, if you're really gonna chase me as far as a subjective, I'll fucking throw down. What? You're gonna be a sad piece of shit when I'm done with you, my friend. I will pop all your freaking little legs off. You will not be able to go underground. You'll be a limping little seal. Flop around, dick out. Up on the surface, and you're not gonna be satisfied with that. Yeah. Well, you can already see what's happening to you. I know it. I know you're not gonna be very satisfied by it. You guys just double stacked on top of each other? What is this shenanigans? Well, that's a lot of freaking rocks. Didn't mean to shoot that arrow. I want to use a pot, but not a big pot. There we go. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? I don't think either of you can go underground anymore. I think that makes you vulnerable to fire, right? Still fire arrows. I just had no interest in fighting you guys. That's all I can say. You, you were so adamant about fighting me. Inaccuracy with these bows, man. It's just. Coming, I called it, and I just didn't dodge out of it. I mentioned how much these guys are my least favorite enemies to fight. What kind of bit was that rolling for? There's one of you on fire. They're so try- I'm so try hard, even though they're like basically helpless. They're just so annoying to fight and they take so many resources. Their weak points are- I just everything about them. I hate them. So annoying. Yeah, I know. You were still throwing rocks at me when I decided to craft some arrows, so I'm gonna pay for it. Just hit each other. Walled the crap out of each other. Can I like tie you up? Yeah. I don't 
exactly know what good that does me, but yes, I tied them off. Okay, you can still spew rocks. At least I don't know what the bits I'm blowing off the back of you even do, if anything whatsoever. It's like I'm just a stealth fire build, and these guys just don't play nice with my builds. Fire resistant and everything else resistant. I mean give pretty good loot, but like, just, they're just not worth. Could have kept on running and just ignored them. I think I want to go up and around. Don't really want to follow the path. I'm guessing. Waypoint does say I can go the other way. I feel like that would be the wrong call. Sneaky suspicion. Look out below! We She sounds so happy when she's doing that. we we'll do full HP pots. Jump up here. Go for a little wander running yonder schnarchers. I don't know. Just made up fucking words. Loots. Full already. They really, I'm gonna be fighting a hell of a lot of shit with how many Your three pots they plenty, give me. Right? Vinasha sent me. Show me the three toes. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vinasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Uh, did you kill it? Why do you think Vinasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful pots. So Vinasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Well, Turns out things. a lot. Like yeah. bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Monstrosity. Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. <laughs> it tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Guess I'm going to kill one of them. will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. Yeah, I already know I that. Promise to I look just solemn fought at two of them before I hit over the, the bar. Over the ridge, you watched me. It's fine. Guess let's go fight another one. I don't speak about hating these things that much. They're susceptible to frost, though, so you just freeze them up a little. They get real slow. Oh, hello. That hitbox hit me way before I thought it would. It's fine, though, but like, hmm. Some shenanigans. Again, with that super. Super early hitbox, like, take damage way before they're actually on top of them. Worth it. Okay. 
I just need to make this thing not corner ground. It's just such an easier fight when you do that. Where did all those arrows go? Why am I not using the right arrows? Well, that was a whole wasted pop-up of him. This is like the narrowest part of this to fight him in, too. Spot there because I know we could one shot me from there. Hey, buddy. Thing up. I don't know what it does on that. Touche. Good slide, my friend. Are you tail whipping me? I don't even know if you can remove that off his back. No? Is the permanent weak spot? Okay. You're dead, anyways. Yeah, don't mind me. Thanks for the help. I do appreciate it. Oh, wait. He didn't help at all. Use a dick. Use a dick. Dick. Use a dick. Do your part. Well, at least they were nice enough to put some herbs. Oh, look at you. Literally just sitting on a box watching. By the radiant sun. I can't believe it. He's injured fine. It's okay. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. Not the first one I fought. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Banasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Hope. Oh. She's got a lot of outfits. Ah, little huntress. Glad you accepted also my invitation ripped. to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Huadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Throw the kid down the cliff. Put him on your back. Can we move with any sort of haste? Oh dear. Here come the Shadow Carger, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore. Carefully. Trust the royalty with the guy who can be bought. So it comes to this. What? I must say, after Don't do that. years of the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Dropping frames. That's bad. Ah, oh, shit. I hope we weren't dropping frames in all the cutscenes. I've recorded so many episodes. Where are they coming from? Why? Why do I want to Some play traps? traps? Would be nice. Why? I, I mean, I have a whole bunch, but like, why do I need to? It's not like they're gonna get through here or kill us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form. But fine. Here's good. Oh, is it? Very good. 
We're gonna start to put down before this shit sets off. What? Come on, me. Best time ever. Oh, what rock? Oh, this rock. Okay. Come on, me. Got another one of these. Maybe another one over here. Maybe you want one over here? Sure. There you go. You can have one. Hey, I, got, I got a whole bunch. You can put, just chop another one right here. They never heard anything. I'm like, they are. the humans would never Let's notice these hurt, traps. Shall we? I'd rather be in this grass, you know, honestly. I never look in the grass in this game. Losers. Oh, in your face. See, those traps just, just drawn out this process. Dude, you're on fire and you got explosives on your back. It's never a good thing. Doosh. Go ahead. Apparently I missed his canister though. It's the canister again. There we go. Well, that was entertaining, but I suspect we're not done. I hope so. More of the bastards. There's 12 Get traps. Ready. Ooh, what type of machines? Handsome machines? Are they good machines? Are they bad machines? Just just watchers, corrupted ones, so well, that's really not impressive. This is where it is. Just a girl standing in a bush. Well, yeah. it seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. That was what you had me put this many traps down for. Really? Ah, it's just fucking NPCs being dramatic. Don't mind me. Just picking up the giant mess I made with my own traps game. I go for. Well, let's grab them all. Cha. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Well, aren't they fucking ballsy? That is a corrupted big old motherfucker. We need to craft some of these ASAP. Very first thing you do every time you fight one of these guys is remove both the launchers from existence. And that's why you remove both the launchers from existence. I thought I had enough time to get that arrow off. Son of a bitch. Maybe the guards don't run in there and go all crazy. Let me, uh. Since that wasn't the guards' fault, that was 100% my fault for not being in an angle to hit this second launcher when I engaged him. There we go. Now it should just be a pushover. Keyword should. What was that? I'm gonna light him on fire and take up the ads? Cause I guess there's ads in this fight? In my defense, there is no defense. I, I just rolled straight into that twice. I only got three more of these, so I need to be a bit more careful. So we're gonna remove remove nothing. This is the answer there. We're gonna remove the things from your face. You don't need them. Hello, big guy. Didn't even blow up his tail. That's why the tail's got to go. Whoa, super twitchy with the movement you're making there. 
That didn't pop off the tail either. And we didn't even blow up what's on your face. Although I feel like a scrub now. Enough of this nonsense. Let's just keep our damage. what I should be using versus him now when he's just sitting there. Those will put him out, so that's not a bad option. This is wait. Hell well, big guy. You angry. Someone pissing your Cheerios, my friend. Oh, wait. That was me. Not bad. Rip off your top bits there. I'm attempting to. There we go. No more top bit. Rip off your tail. Should be damaged. No, no tail action. Ooh, that hit me. Ow. Oh, damn. Was not expecting that forward charge. Why am I lagging? Pop off, thank you. Your world is on fire, my friend. Come on, me. Center crafting arrows while you're being all big Mr. Scary Pants over here. Spray and pray. Eventually you hit some. Ooh, wasn't sure I did that time right. Ooh, you got I thought you were gonna do another charge of laser cut. Eleven thousand XP for a corrupted one of them. I can fight a few of them at a time for some XP farming, would not complain. Resources would take a giant hit, but I've got plenty of those. Whoops, that was shift tab. Okay. So talk to the boat people. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Not the worst looking boat I've ever seen. It's also fairly light, it seems. You just despawn? Question mark? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. What? Very cinematic ending here, but like it's not the end of the game. It's beautiful scenery though, like I wish there's more of this kind of stuff in the game. Something not right. No? Really long cinematic for this. Like, really long. Like, someone had a lot of fun with this one. Edaman, my brother, welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. Aww. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, 
It seems I see your influence everywhere. Yes. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Oh. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Ah, deep secrets of the earth. We just just go. Oh no, that's that. Her quest to talk to her again. I don't even know where she is. I should have a proper proper reward for me. Nothing. Okay. Well, either way, everyone, we are at a time for this episode. Like sixteen minutes ago, but who cares? Some episodes longer than the others. This is a good time to end it. So I will see you all in the next episode. Dig figure. You should subscribe and watch all my content front to back. It's my only life advice to you. My ears itchy, so we're doing that. Look on the cards. Bye, guys.